company is Black Series Edition LLC with gunmetal crystal edge technology screens. Oh man. So we're going to talk about why contrast is extremely important, as you can see by the thumbnail, um, why it's very important. It is a must for home theater setups. I have no idea why, and this gets skipped altogether. I mean, they'll talk about color, they'll talk about white levels, they'll talk about contrast, but the fact is you just are not getting a 100% contrast level without a 100% black screen. Gray screens, white screens cannot do this for you. And again, going out and spending the money for a very expensive projector to fix the problem, again, you still will not be receiving 100% black. As again, as I said before, if you can't receive black, you can't receive color. So I don't know when I go to these form sites and how people will talk about uh, the gunmetal screens, which are very dark gray screens. Um, they'll talk about um they're um what I'm saying? We, we, we design actually make gunmetal but our gunmetal is a little different because uh for those who say well what about your gunmetal well our gunmetal basically is tested we tested our gunmetal against other certified uh gunmetal screens and our product actually proved to be better so we can check out our test demonstrations on that and also too we have people who have actually tested our products for us so you can check that also too as those videos displayed on our website. Oh, I forgot about that. I gotta put those videos direct put those videos directly into depends on how short they are. If I can put them into the into the, the media players. But anyway. So with that being said, the darker the gunmetal, like I said, the better the shade of gray, um, the better the the contrast. But if you're talking about receiving a 100 percent black level, this is something a black screen can only give you. And you have to have a black screen to do this. So I love it when I hear people on YouTube constantly raving about seeing a contrast level and I'm staring at the screen. I'm like, well, how is this happening? Because the screen is actually gray or white. Where is this picking up at? I'm not seeing this at all. So with our demonstrations, we've done mountains and mountains of tests of our black technology versus a white surface. One of the tests we have to do is something called a white on white test. And this is where we have to take a thousand lumen projector put it against our black technology versus a white surface so that way we don't show that we're using high lumen projectors to produce higher white levels these are tests that have to be done if you hear one cricket it's because i'm hunting today i'm actually tracking down the rest of them and wiping them out got pretty much most of them are gone so um actually there's just that one i know where he's at i'm trying to figure out where he's at so i can exterminate him but i don't know where he's at but i'll figure out where he's at that's why I got it nice and quiet in here. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm loving this quietness. Listen to this. You hear that? No people. At all. The only thing I hear is just the one cricket. That's it, and I'm hunting him down now. That's why I got it quiet in here, because I'm trying to figure out where he's at. Other than that, the damn to go out, I'm going to be cutting down the grass from the back and the front. There he is right there. Hear him? It's just one. That's that comes from one cricket. They're very loud. I'm using the vinegar and water solution today. This is the best way to do it without basically harming anything. Yeah, he's right over there. All right, so I'll be tracking him down today. You'll be hearing him from time to time on the camera because right now I'm just going through and doing our, our seal work today and tracking down that one individual to exterminate him. All right, so as you can see, like I said, this is our called a splatter screen. We do these all the time. And in a splatter screen, we take a white surface. Sometimes we have them half white, half gray. And we basically splatter our product on it just to show you exactly how much of an image that you are missing. These are all on Facebook right now. We just uploaded these to Facebook. So this shows you how much of an image that you're literally missing from your screen without black technology. That's a lot of detail. Mind you, um, the darker the screen, the more advanced the detail that your projector is going to be able to produce. And if, like I said, with these projectors, I'm seeing with these Iwa and Valva projectors with a wimpy 4,000 to 1 contrast. Um, and then you're on top of a gray screen that really doesn't even have the ability to produce. Yeah, that's a crappy setup, a really, really crappy setup. So, you know, for those of you that get upset about that, it is. I, I've talked to customers, and I'm not shy about that. 
he'll say they had these projectors and I say look you have a 4,000 to 1 contrast which is pretty cheap and then you have a um you have a projector that only does I mean a screen that can't even do 4,000 it's cheap for a minute where's my freaking power tools I'm already working on this as I'm talking I'm trying to track this joker where he's at Gonna hear some work in the house for a minute. Let's figure out where this guy's at. Sorry about that. There we go. Perfect. So yeah, sorry about that. I'm trying to figure out where this guy is at. Oh, there you are. Okie dokie. Give me a minute, people. Give you a chance to look at that picture really good. Let it seep in. Doing two things at the same time here. Very busy. Right there. Yeah, we're doing both at the same time. I gotta be on the roof today to put my panels in. My solar panels got here. So I'm gonna be up on the roof and stone those in because I want the kitchen and I want this whole section over here to be completely solar. So that's what I'm working on next. But let's get back to this. So this is how much of an image you're losing. The reason why 720p projectors do not work on gray and white screens because you have to have a projector with a high resolution in order to pick up more detail. Black screens allow you to have extremely high detail levels because it's a black screen. That's why 720p's operate fantastic. Matter of fact, that's a 720p running right now. So that's why they don't work on gray and white screens. And this is why you're forced to go in and spend the money for a more expensive projector with a higher resolution because your screen can't read the resolution at all, period. Right, see how much of an image you're missing? A great deal. That's a white screen by itself. Gray screens, same problem. Plague with the same problem. They have a little bit more of a show point, just a little bit, not a lot, but just a little bit, um, when it comes to color and when it comes to contrast, it will pick up. But all in all, they'll lose their white levels compared to the white screen that will be to generate the 100% white levels. Let me bring you up a little bit more on that. There you go. And this is why I want to go to these form sites. So this is why we can go into OLED sites for TVs and actually talk to them because at the end of the day, a gray and white screen doesn't belong in there because they can't read 100% black. They can't even go against the TV. And I see that a lot. I see people ever since we showed the projection TV uh, technology, uh, we got, we've seen videos of people showing up gray and white screens trying to say, look, we could do a TV. No, you cannot. Stop it because you can't read contrast. An OLED TV picks up, not gray, it picks up a 100% black. So you can't do that. Even gunmetal can't even do that at the end of the day. So that's literally, there's a contrast level. That's the perfect black. And if you notice, when you look at this, you will see the white levels still maintain as they blend off the white surface onto the black surface because the technology we developed has something called a heightener attached to it. it allows the screen to be able to generate an extremely high white level even being a black screen. I told you most perfect screen you can have on the market is a screen that can read 100% black but also can register white light. Now here in this demonstration we have both gray and we have both white side by side. Oh now this is real interesting. This right here is a demonstration of me doing gray only. This is a gray screen paint. Um, we have it, of course, in a fully lit environment. We don't use ambient light controlled environments in none of our demonstrations due to the fact that we consider that to be cheating. Ambient light controlled environments are cheating. And the reason why is because you have to consider the fact that the environment that they have maintained to show off their demonstration will not be the same environment you will have your screen in. So say if I buy a gray screen paint, right? And I mean, I have an environment like this, all right? Is that gray screen paint going to be able to work in this environment? What would I have to do to get that gray screen paint to work in my environment? Am I going to have to dim my lights in this environment? Am I going to have to close windows? 
what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to spend the money for another expensive projector to fix the problem. How do we, how do we get the gray screen to work in that environment? Well, that's what we're going to have to do. Spend more money, darken the environment, because again, the screen can't read or register contrast. It doesn't pick up color correctly, and it does not have ambient light rejection technology embedded into it. So therefore, it doesn't work. There we go. There's a nice pretty rose, as I told you before. Color is not going to register unless you have 100% black. Not only do you need 100% black to get it to register, but you also, too, are going to have to be to pick up an extremely high white level. That's why we're doing the oversplash. So if you notice, my um, image that's coming from the projector is overlapping the entire screen. So you can see the white levels, you can see the gray levels, and you can see the art technology right there in the middle. And you see where our technology is more superior than the white surface, the gray surface. This is what you're supposed to be receiving from your projector, not this or that. See how much of the hiccup right here? Just a slight little hiccup between the gray and the white screen. So again, as I told you before, a gray screen does not have that capability. And if you are basically using a gray or white screen on your projector setup, you missed the boat. Now, I know we've had people out there who've tried to say that, oh, black screens are so dark, they can't pick up white levels, they can't see color, they can't do this, they can't do that, they're so dark, they're impossible to see. Well, again, if that was the case, well, any demonstrations that I have done online, offline, and any facility wouldn't have picked up. It would have displayed the exact same way they were portrayed to look it'd be virtually impossible. So how do we have a screen, an outdoor screen at that, not inside, we're not talking about any windows, doors, ambient light outside producing a beautiful image, it's not having that issue. So that means there's something wrong there. Either somebody's lying at the end of the day and something's not right. Because I just saw, and my lawyers just saw, I have to bring that in there real quick, we do have attorneys involved in this. They just saw a person on YouTube do a demonstration where a product didn't pick up didn't show, nothing came up at all. It was a dark screen on an ultra short throw. And yet we have people outside on long throws on a projector much cheaper using a demonstration, picking up with no problem whatsoever. So what's going on there? I told you people, we get a lot of jealousy. We get people that are so terrified of our products, they will deliver, can use their YouTube channels to abuse their viewers. There you go. But anyway. This is what you need to be seeing. See that 100% black level? See how beautiful those colors pop? That's what you want. And again, for those of you that are thinking about developing black products in the day, it takes years. It takes a long time. I've seen people come up and try to make black products right away and fail miserably because it's an extremely temperamental product and it needs tons of testing to make sure it works, which means you have to use different caliber of projectors. I do like that particular troll That'll come in and say, hey, you just use Christie's. And then I go upstairs and show them my many, many projectors on a demonstration. They're like, yeah, all these were used in all our demonstrations. That's why I have owned all these projectors because they've all been used. This is why when you go to different demonstrations, you go to different, uh, my specification sheets, if you roll down, you'll see I named the projectors that I use in every demonstration. So you have to be able to show it on different projectors and have it on the same projector over and over again because you're typecasting that projector. Look how beautiful that looks. That looks absolutely gorgeous right there. Let me go over here real quick. Um, let me see. Here we go. This is on the YouTube channel right here. This is a demonstration by one of our testers who displayed our outside technology screen paint outside. Now, like I said, one of the problems that they claim that black screens have, not only hearing it from one person, I've heard it from a couple of people on different forum sites were saying that well, black screens have problems because they don't have the ability to be able to generate uh, in uh, well-lit environments because you know they're darker and they're gonna have a hard time picking up white levels where our technology doesn't have that issue. Where's one of the sea turtle? There we go. No, that's not the sea turtle. Where's the sea turtle at? Let's see, outside driving, racing. And thank you so much for the support. We really appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. Where's my sea turtle at? These are the demonstrations from the 
that's what I'm that's coming soon very soon um, let me see where are we just hit this there we go there's our sea turtle outside so that's a demonstration by the tester who did a demonstration of a sea turtle outside and again like I said that's black technology so <clears throat> sorry about that if the technology and the theory behind other people at the end of the day even form sites if our technology or any black technology well I don't know I can't say any other but ours is tested is because they're so dark and they require high end projectors. We've done demonstrations outside at 13 feet at 1000 lumens. Uh, Sony VPL CS4 projector, you can type that in. You see how many times we use that projector quite a lot in our demonstrations. Our technology is the only black technology that has the ability to pull a high white level like that in order to generate a perfect balance of color and contrast at the exact same time. And also to produce amazing white levels because that would be virtually impossible, especially even outside. That would be impossible. If it did exactly as other claims that it did, you wouldn't be able to see that. Got this song stuck in my head. I'm there for a while. So this one right here, and again, thank you for the views. We'll have to keep over skipping this one. Over skipping my videos here. Right there. Let's go right here. This one got about 4,800 views. Yeah, thank you so much. We appreciate that. Now, 4,000 people, 4,800 people saw that video, right? So 4,800 people saw that video saw the video which means if the screen came up too dark and was unwatchable it'd be an onslaught of basically saying that oh it's it, it you can't see it blah, blah. no no troll could go in there and say that because at the end of the day he's seeing what everybody else is seeing a screen that's pulling up in a fully lit environment outside just like all the rest of them so he can't come in and say oh, the screen's too dark because everybody said what do you mean the screen's too dark it's like four thousand people looking at that screen or four thousand eight hundred that screen they can tell it's not dark no we figured out a way and we're blessed to be to figure out a way how to get a black screen to generate white light and that's something that when i talk to professionals not a person sitting in their apartment that doesn't know jack and i'm sorry they don't know jack about home theater uh projection technology I'm talking about professionals. I've had these conversations with these individuals and these individuals have sat there and told me the reason why they, when they have darker screens, that they use them in darker environments because the screens have a difficult time receiving white light. So it happened in a darker environment, gives the screen a better chance of pulling a higher white level. When they watch her demonstrations, they're scratching their head like, how the freak is that even possible? It is possible. The problem is that people think inside the box too much. That's the problem. That's literally how much of your picture quality you lose with a gray screen. This is why you never see gray screens in this environment. Tell me one demonstration you've ever seen a gray screen in an environment with that much light triggered off. You don't because the screen can't see it. That's why you're in these really dark environments, these cave-like, dungeon-like environments with this kind of medieval look to it because they need it because the screen will wash out. Now, because our screen generates a high white level, you need both of them combined together to receive color. Color requires contrast, white levels, in order to be to design perfect color. We've done that in demonstrations, proven that theory. Take a thousand lumen projector, drop it back 16 feet, take black paint, put it on one side, take white paint, put it on the other side, put a technology in the middle, and show you color patterns. So that means in the color patterns, the black paint can't see white light, it comes up darker, it comes up dirtier, where the white paint basically can't receive contrast and it washes out, where our color ma maintains a perfect balance at 1000 lumens, which means we don't have to use a high-end projector to, in order to manipulate. So that's literally how much you lose from your screen. Those of you who have dedicated setups, we've done these demonstrations before. I actually built a dedicated theater room in one of the places I was renting to show you that even if you're in a dedicated hit environment, that a gunmetal, a white screen, and gray screen do not register in that environment. Even if your walls are painted black, you're still going to get splashes of light hitting the ceiling and walls. It's going to be pretty ugly. That's a lot, isn't it? That's a whole lot to be losing from your setup. Look how much, how much of the picture is going. So if you can't see color, you definitely can't pick up an ocean. That's not going to happen. 
when I get the showroom set up, these are the kind of screens we're going to have on display. We're not going to have fully painted screens. Our screen's going to be half painted. We want customers to come in and get the impact on how much they're losing from their projector. That's the whole point of the splatter screen is to show you exactly at the end of the day, this, what you think you're seeing off a gray screen, you're not picking up any color at all. You basically are stuck either in a dark medieval environment because your screen can't register. Now, Batman, as we all know, is black. His armor is black. Everything he has is black. Cars black. The scenery is black. It's all black. It's all with Batman. Batman is of the dark nights. So, you know, last I checked, nighttime is not gray. It's black. So if you want to pick up that 100% contrast, this is where our technology kicks in. Because if you're watching this in a dedicated theater room, if you're watching at home or whatever, you watch it off your TV, you know you're seeing 100% black. If you're watching a gray or white screen, you're not registering 100% black. Last I checked, Batman is black. That's all black armor he has on. So again, you can't pick it up on a gray screen. And somebody's saying, well, what if I spend? What if you spend what? More money? <laughs> Go ahead and knock yourself out. You still can't read it. You can't pick it up. It won't register. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So it's not going to work. It is very important that you have black technology. Look at that. This is a demonstration we did. Oh, this is an on-site. So, <clears throat> sorry about that, people. That's an on-site demonstration. That was me on-site at a, um, a youth uh, center. And that is on a 720p um, ultra short though projector that couldn't read a gray and white screen in that environment. So if I had to do an installment in that area, which we did an installment, this one is trying to be installed in, if I was doing an installment in that area, there is no way in the world we could get a gray screen to run in there. We would have to in order to manipulate the environment in order to get the work. And mind you, we're running an ultra short throw while we were doing the demonstration. And at 30, my projector is 3,600 lumens. At 3,600 lumens, we couldn't get it to see the screen if we used a gray or white screen. Wouldn't have worked. So going out and getting a projector with a higher lumen count, higher resolution, whatever, higher contrast. It's just not going to work. So this right here basically shows this is a color pattern demonstration to see if the product is registering color. This is a white surface. I see the white surface is not registering anything at all. Do a little slideshow here, people. And you can check this out on my Facebook channel, my Facebook page, my fan page over there. Do a lot of videos and demonstrations over there. So that's how much you're losing all the contrast. You're not seeing it. You can't pick it up. Let's go through again. There we go. And this is what I did in the apartment. Yeah. Even though I didn't like that place, I utilized the daylights out of it. I got every penny worth out of that. But anyway, this is my screen at 159 inches, customized 1610, compared to a wall that I coated with a special white screen paint. I even amped it up a little bit, too, on this white screen paint to see if it would basically be able to match our products. And yeah, that's what you get. That's the results. So with that heightening technology we have, see how bright the goldfish is? Well, not goldfish, but the beta fish is. Look at the white level in the lettering. Look at it on the white surface. You are picking up nothing. Got a white screen, you are picking up nothing at all. This is why when we start next summer, I think right now uh, the outdoor Cinemax that we have is picking up heavy in the warmer states right now. Um, over here, not so much because again, it, our, 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 um, our, our seasons change. Summertime, that screen's gonna blow up crazy because again, white screens, the only screen we gotta go against out there is a white screen and we could dominate that market very, very easily. I have someone who has a good piece of land. Um, they are going to uh, paint up uh, two screens, inflatable screens, or just several different outdoor screens, have them on displays on half and half, and use projectors. Again, we get from eBay, costs about 100 bucks, showing the customers they don't have to spend all this money. Usually, when you're doing an outdoor setup,
people automatically go near 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 lumen projectors because, again, they have in their head that the, the image that's traveling on those lumens is going to bypass all that light and hit the screen, and this is going to fix the problem. No, it will not fix your problem. The minute it makes contact with the screen, it'll automatically wash out. As a matter of fact, you introduce the extra 7,000 lumens to a screen that's already suffering and struggling to get to the environment that it's already at. So you made the problem even worse. That's what happens. And this is why when you look at our demonstration, you see the church that had a 7,000 lumen projector hitting a screen. They weren't registering. They weren't picking anything up. Do our product touch the screen and then they could read it. So that's why that dark technology is very important. When we get this summer, when we start advertising this product at full blown level, because again, it'd be warmer up here and we can advertise it better. I you know I have my showroom set up over here and then over where we have the contract that where they have this huge, massive piece of land for display on these. They're going to be, do big screens out there. It is going to be an easy sell because you're looking at a screen that has the ability to be able to generate in an environment that usually a white screen will never, ever be able to generate in. And then keep in mind for those people that want to compete with us and say, well, we could do the same thing. We have years of testing under our belt. I've done demonstrations on just about every level you could possibly think of. As a matter of fact, to back our products 100%, you go to the Crystal Edge page, we have one of the biggest displays ever for an outdoor displays on everything you could possibly think of has been done. It's the biggest grid on videos, on and off YouTube. Nobody will match it, I guarantee you 100%. So with that being said, and keep in mind, in those demonstrations, not one of the projectors are over $500. Yeah, pretty impressive, huh? We didn't have to use any expensive projectors. As a matter of fact, on that massive 250 inch monster of a screen that sat in my backyard, that projector was 4,000 lumens at 27 feet from the screen. Some people still can't believe that. They think it was a seven, 8,000 lumen projector. I was like, no, that was a $270 projector I got on eBay used. Look at, that. Look at the difference between watching Batman. I told you, Batman's movies generate 100% black. How are you picking this? You can't pick this up on a white screen. You're missing so much. Look at it. You can't even pick up the, the borders. There's a border right there for the top and the bottom for cinema mode. You can't pick it up. It's not there. That's a huge, massive difference. So this is what I mean by missing the boat. If you got a gray and white screen, you have missed the boat. Got up early in the morning, got your everything together, took that car ride out there, and watched that boat take off. You can't be on that boat because you're not supposed to be on that boat. Only this technology belongs on that boat. Those people who have that technology is on that boat. You have to be over here. They're going to be over here. That's why I said that your screens are outdated. When I go and I watch YouTube videos, I'm used to seeing a certain screen. I'm used to seeing my eyes are trained to see a certain thing. So even when I go to the movie theater, movie theater frustrates the daylights out of me because I'm not seeing a 100% black level when I'm staring at a contrast level. I don't see black. I see shades of gray. It doesn't register. Even the color, all that, for everybody else, thinks color's amazing. No, not on my end. I see it differently. That's like a person who went to school and they're a chef. They have, their tongues are trained different. Their tongue's a different palate. So when they eat food, they taste it completely different from we how we taste it. They can taste everything. Just like a wine taster, a professional wine tester, his tongue is trained. So when he goes and he drinks a bottle of wine, it's different from us drinking a bottle of wine. I don't drink, but you know what I mean? It's much difference. They get much more pleasure out of it, of drinking, eating at the end of the day. And then again... There's a downside to it all, too, because they could drink something like, oh, my God, this is absolutely disgusting. Like, what the frick? Who drinks this? I can pour this into a car and take off the friends. Yeah, but for anybody else, when us be drinking like us, it's actually fantastic. What are you talking about? Because their palates are trained different. So this is me. At the end of the day, when I go to a movie theater, I don't see the same screen everybody else is seeing. I see something completely different. I had a friend. The guy who lived underneath of me was some kind of audio genius. I, I, me and him didn't get along, but he was really, really smart. We talked about it a few times. He was really smart about audio and acoustics and all that stuff. Guy had a really big hit on him. And anyway, this, he said that when he goes to concerts, he can hear things differently. Like he can hear the system. So they have a fantastic system. He can hear all that because his ears are trained for that. So I thought it was pretty cool. But this is what I go through when I go to movie theaters. I don't see contrast because the screens are 100% black. They look different than what I'm watching when I'm home. 
So if I watch Batman when I'm home, I can watch Batman in a fully lit environment. I can see 100% contrast. I go to movie theater, I see shades of gray. I just deal with it. So if I see that, when I go to a YouTube video and I watch a demonstration, I see all the failures in your screen. I can see you're not picking up color correctly. I can see the contrast levels are gray. I can see where the screen is dodging light because it's having a difficult time reading or picking up. I can see all that. You should be able to operate that in a fully lit environment. Now, again, uh, if you look at the environment, black speakers, black mats, all that was put there because I wanted people to see that that technology is actually black. It actually matches the environment. I see people doing this demonstration with a gray screen, and I'll notice that the gray screen is not matching anything black in the environment. Look, at this is my this is my most best picture ever right here. Just showing the OLED, that QLED right here, right next to the technology. Every place I moved at, I've always, I've always uh, kept it real. What I mean by kept it real is that anytime I moved into an environment, um, I've never changed it. Anytime I've never changed it. What will be the point of changing the environment? You know, and here we have a large garage door, so this thing's going to come up, and my screen's going to be right there, and it has to generate while this garage door is up. So I'm not worried about that because we have technology that generates outside, so that's not a problem for me. But if I had a gray screen, there's no way in the world that gray screen would register if that garage door comes up because that is going to be a huge amount of light pushing through this environment. And again, we have technology that works outside perfectly, so I'm not even worrying about a garage door at the end of the day. I had someone actually, you know, say, well, if you're going to be in a garage, aren't you worried about uh, the door opening up? And your image washing out, and like, no, we have screens that actually generate outside. So this is why that contrast is very important. So this is showing you some of the pictures. These are demonstrations I've done. And the last apartment, actually, the last apartment I just came from, just showing you how much you're losing and why this is very, very important. I'm going to track down that cricket. I think Taco's over there looking for him. But anyway, this shows you how much you're losing. It's a huge massive difference i got to get back to work i got much to do if you want to check out the slideshow go to our facebook page we have a lot of videos and demonstrations up there for you to check out i have to go thank you all and god bless and as i told you before our product is the best product and the reason why is because we've done the test our product is a tested product um, and as you've seen by our demonstrations, we get back our products at 100%. We do specialize in ambient light rejection and black technology, and our gunmetal technology is absolutely gorgeous. All right, got to go, and God bless.